Yo, welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, ASAP. And today, we got a great show lined up for you guys. When you come across the video, uh, make sure you have your post notifications on. Make sure you share the video out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. On this channel, we do sports, hot topics, roundtable talk, and marriage chronicles. I see everybody in the comment section. Hashtag salute. Also, you know what my mantra is. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Might not be for you, but it might be for them. We're going to get right off into today's video. Um, You know, Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffalo, they're headline news all through the world of sports. And they're taking over center stage, college football. And, you know, you have a lot of people that support Deion Sanders. But you have a lot of people that come down hard on Deion Sanders because of the, what his bravada is, and, you know, his style and his flair is, and they criticize a lot of things that he does. Um, you got the Paul Feinbeins of the world, the Danny Canales, the Jason Whitlocks, and the Doug Gottlieb's of the world that any chance that Deion in Colorado loses, they pour salt in the wound. And you know, ESPN as a major network um, on their YouTube channel and on their Twitter handles, they're doing a lot of trolling with Dion and the Colorado Buffaloes. This is just something I haven't seen, you know, in years. I haven't seen it you know, since I've been around that uh, major network that covets Dion Sanders. Once all the interviews and wants, you know, him to speak on their network to generate them money but you're trolling him every chance you get. I've never seen it. Um, Then you have the likes of Stephen A, where Stephen A is cut and dry, tell you like it is, and a lot of people, you know, get rubbed the wrong way, the way Stephen A approaches things. Um, You know, what I've always said about Stephen A is, in one sentence, he'll give you all the praise, right? And then in that same sentence, he'll break you down. Uh, We produced a show yesterday um, about what Stephen A. Smith said on ESPN First Take about the Colorado Buffaloes and Deion Sanders taking a little subtle jab at Deion and really pouring it in on Shador Sanders. And a lot of people said that Stephen A. said nothing wrong, which, you know, I agree to a certain extent. Um, But then today, Stephen A. Smith, he produced a show And he summed it up in totality of the big picture and what he was trying to convey to his audience. Um, He said some things that a lot of people wouldn't say, but Stephen A would say it. And basically, like I told you guys, Deion Sanders has responded. Deion Sanders has responded to what Stephen A. Smith said on his ESPN first take yesterday. And Deion responded. A lot of people say that Dion don't respond to people, but if you look at Dion's Twitter account and the messages that he puts out there, it's a message inside that message. And the people that it's directed to, they know who they are. But in this case, Stephen A. Smith went to his podcast and broke it down in the totality to where it really makes sense for the viewer. I want y'all to take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith said on his podcast. Roll the clip. Primetime Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. I'm a fan of primetime Deion Sanders. I'm a friend of primetime Deion Sanders. I'm going to root for him. I'm going to support him. I'm going to believe in him. But that does not negate the fact that the Buffaloes representing the University of Colorado have been getting their ass kicked. There's no way around it. You get down 40, you know, 35 to nothing in the first half against Oregon and you get blitzed 42 to six on national television. You were getting blitzed by USC. You were down 27 to seven before you made that game interesting, but you still surrendered 48 points. And then 
you win it uh, against Arizona State and then you come back and you're up 29 to nothing as a 13 point favorite against Stanford and you lose that game. You get outscored. What was it like 42 to 14 in the second half? In the second half. And that's just embarrassing and we got to call it what it is. It's just embarrassing. There's no way around it. I'm sorry. They were outscored 46 to 14. In the second half. You gave a 46 points and a half. That's embarrassing. Largest blown lead in school history and the biggest blown halftime lead in conference history. They're now one and three in the Pac-12. The defense for Colorado, the defense for Deion Sanders team, second most yards per game allowed at 473.7 yards. Seventh most points per game allowed at 35.9. All time in all of the FBS, I'm sorry, this year. All of the FBS this year. Embarrassing. Here's what's worse. Shador Sanders is the son of primetime Deion Sanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, according to my sources, he's got a social media team. He was not aware that they would be selling merch on his behalf during halftime of a game he was playing in. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's a bad look. The buck stops with you. We all have, we all make mistakes. We all employ people who make mistakes and we get it. But please understand the buck stops with Shador Sanders. You got your own social media team. It's your responsibility. And for you or your team to have somebody trying to sell merchandise on your behalf during halftime of a game, priorities are highly questionable. Now, we like watching them with the watch and all of this other stuff. We ain't see that those three games, they got their ass kicked defensively. But here's the point. It ain't about Deion Sanders. It's about these folks playing in those uniforms. Benefited from the attention and the allure and the spotlight that Deion Sanders presence has brought to them and they ain't living up to it because they feeling themselves. These are college kids, ladies and gentlemen. Can, let me, let, 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 let's put it where the goats can get it. As my man, Joe Madison would say, have you been a star athlete on a college campus? Have you been an athlete on a college campus? When you're winning as a team, you have any idea, dare I say the perks that come your way? Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot that can distract these young brothers. And this is one of those instances. It's exactly what's happened here. In this case, man, I have to totally agree with Stephen A. Smith, man, on his assessment, man. Um, and he made a key point. This is not about Deion Sanders. I want y'all guys to get this straight. This is not about Deion Sanders. So I don't know why the media... And all the media outlets are making this about Deion Sanders. Like Stephen A. said, it's about the kids in them uniforms that have to go out there and perform. But Deion has laid down the foundation and the structure to these kids to go out there and make it happen. He has made it abundantly clear that you're going to have the spotlight on you because of who he is. But you have to go out there and perform. And one thing that Dion said in that locker room after that loss to Stanford, he said, you know, you had your shine early, but that shine is going to come to an end and they're going to turn on you. But don't go to your social media and respond to that foolishness. You got to keep the main thing, the main thing. And Dion is teaching these kids how to be responsible. But like Stephen A said, it starts with Shadur Sanders. You know, his team posted that stuff at halftime trying to sell his merch on his behalf. But like Stephen A. Smith said, you have to let them know that that's an inappropriate. And your priorities got to be your priorities. Your focus has to be your focus. So it all starts with Shadur Sanders. But this notion of 
the things that they're doing with Dion and things that they're saying about Dion, this is not on Dion. This is on them kids. But them kids knew the spotlight was going to be on them when Deion Sanders took over that head coaching position at Colorado. Wherever Deion's been, wherever he's played at, wherever he's, everything he's been associated with, it's a media spectacle. It's a spotlight. So these kids are in the spotlight, but it's how you handle the spotlight. And like Stephen A. said, a lot of these kids got to grow up, man. But we can't put it all on Dion. These kids got to go out there and perform. And like Stephen A. said, these college kids are feeling themselves, man. But at the same time, all the negative that we're talking about right now, they still have a four and three record. Three more wins better than their last year record. So these kids got to learn from it. But Deion Sanders responded. And like I said, he agreed with everything that Stephen A. Smith said. And I'm going to show you how Deion Sanders responded. The Colorado Buffaloes coach Deion Sanders has something to say about Stephen A. Smith's comments from Monday's ESPN first take. It didn't take him long to respond. And, then, and he didn't shy away from the controversy. That's what I like about Dion. He don't shy away from the controversy. Dion said on his Twitter handle, he's right, Sanders wrote on his social media. Now let's move on. Smith came at Sanders and his son Shador with some hard love. He opened up by saying the loss to Stanford was absolutely a disgrace before launching into a rant directed at the Buffalo, Colorado's quarterback. Now, Deion Sanders took that constructive criticism and said, let's move on. So he, he's in total agreement with what Stephen A. Smith said. But he lit off into him. And I, hopefully this is a wake-up call for the Colorado Buffalo team to get things moving back in the right direction. But this notion about it's all on Deion and the hate that Deion's getting and ESPN, you know, trolling him and things like that. That needs to stop, man. There's other things that are going on that are positive as well that ESPN is not talking about. The focus is solely on Deion Sanders. But when you're prime time, you're going to get that attention. So you guys let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section. Keep sharing out the video. Keep giving it a thumbs up. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, and that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.